viewers it all welcomes you to another exciting episode of a super celebrity interview series and today we have none other than exciting alishpa with us hi alishpa how are you today hello ma'am i am fine how are you i am also doing really well it's so good to meet you all right and i see that you have named yourself as attractive alishpa yes why is that why did you choose attractive because i'm so cute everyone says that i love the confidence alishpa and i'm sure everybody who's watching this interview is going to agree with you yes <laughs> all right well attractive slash cute alishpa let's begin so for our viewers can you tell us your full name and how old you are okay well i am alishpa mirza and i am 7 years old okay wonderful all right now alishpa i have some very interesting questions for you today okay now the first one is going to be a pretend question okay. here i want you to pretend like you are a chef at a restaurant and you have to create an exciting dish So what is it that you would make? So I will make waffle with ice cream and toppings like the rainbow sprinkles and heart sprinkles. Okay. All right, that's wonderful. Now waffles is a dish that is liked by almost everybody, right? So how are your waffles going to be very different than what people usually have? like i will put a lot of scoops of ice cream and it's going to be raspberry ice cream okay wow so it's going to be an ice cream overloaded uh yeah. waffle yeah. wow that certainly sounds tempting and i will put a lot of sprinkles also okay <laughs> all right wow certainly sounds like a treat in your mouth wonderful alish pop great now tell me this is there something that you're really good at yes i am i am very good at painting making waffles and i'm a very good at drawing also wow making that's quite a cool doll house okay okay so i yeah. see art and craft as your forte am i right yeah wonderful so tell me this this wonderful painting that i see in your background yeah is that your creation yes ma'am it's my creation i think that's excellent that's an excellent piece of work alishpa wonderful clearly it's something that you're really good at yeah all right now moving on to my next question um so now tell me this is there anybody in this world that you aspire to be like anyone that you know no ma'am i don't want to be anybody in this whole world because i am already a fashion assassin and if you like my content then please follow me your content so are you count so you have an instagram account yeah okay great so can you tell us your uh, username what's what's the name of your handle It is Fashionista Ali. Fashionista Ali. Yes. Okay. All right. Great. So clearly, you are already a young influencer here with us. Yes. Yes, and a fashionista. So you want to be a better version of yourself. Nobody else. Yes. I think that's an excellent thing, Alishpa. Great. Well, I'm going to use one more adjective in your bucket here. That's going to be confident, Alishpa. Okay. Thank you ma'am. <laughs> All right. So now tell me this. Okay, now this one is going to be a question where you might have to think a little. So Alishpa, imagine if you stepped out of this interview and you found out that you have won 1 crore rupees. So tell me what would you do with that money? Where would you spend it? So first I will make a bungalow. Then I will go for a luxurious trip. Okay. And then I will help the needy people also. Okay. So you're going to fulfill your desires and you are also going to keep some money aside to help people, right? Now when you say you are going to help needy people, yeah. What is the cause that you have in mind? 
have you thought about it like what kind of help their children can get educated so you're going to give or you're going to give money for education yes for education i think that's a wonderful cause alishpa very well and you're thinking about it at such a young age well what more can i say <laughs> excellent excellent all right so now i have a few questions for you that are about you your home your memories and you know all about you so tell me this uh, has there been any vacation of yours that you have really enjoyed okay so it is going to water park okay so where was it what did you do can you tell us more about it like i was very small that time and i went to the water park and it was very fun like i went in the big one and like there was a lot of water i said did slide i went on the slide also and i did a lot uh, and i splashed also <laughs> because i was so little i didn't know i didn't and have to splash so much but i did you were splashing water you were going on slides Yes. All right. Clearly, you had an, a wonderful day right there. Yes. Great. So that brings me to another question about your memory. So, Alushpa, has there been any memory so far that has been your favorite? Any one memory? When my dad got me a baby alive doll as a surprise gift for me. A baby alive doll. Yes. What What is that? Can you tell us something more about it? That is a very nice doll, and that was my dream doll that I wanted to get. And why is it called Baby Alive Doll? Because we have to care her like a real baby for it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I have it. Oh, you have it right here. Yeah. Okay, so that's your Baby Alive Doll. Yes. Okay. It has a tricycle also. It has a tricycle as well. Yes, and a toy fox. Okay, so it has a toy fox of its own. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Clearly, the baby alive doll comes with everything that she needs. Yeah. And uh, I have named her Lily. Lily. Yes. Okay. Good to meet Lily here. Your baby alive doll. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> All right, Alishba. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay, so that's your favorite memory. I see when you received Lily. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So since you told me that your dad got you your favorite baby alive doll, let me ask you a question about your family. Okay. Okay. So what do you love doing with your mom and dad, Alishpa? What's your favorite activity? It is doing stationery shopping and eating KFC food. Okay. Wow. So you love stationery. Okay. Wow. So you are somebody who collects all kind of stationery items. So I just love stationery. If I don't get toys, I just collect just, 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 just stationery. Okay. So if no toys, you are happy with your stationery items. Yeah. So And then on my birthday also, everyone gets me stationery because they know I am a little artist. I need stuff for doing arts. Wonderful. So I might as well start calling you artistic Alishpa from today. Okay. <laughs> I think that's excellent. All right. So I see you are a maniac for stationery items. Well, and yes, of course, KFC food. Yeah. Everybody yeah. loves a good, uh, you know, bucket full of chicken wings. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Alishpa. Great. So okay. So now moving on to the next question for you. Now. This one is some about something that really bugs you. So tell me this: Is there anything that really annoys you? Anything that really bugs you? Okay. When my friends don't play the game I want. Okay. So what do you do then? How do you cope up with it? I just go and play with my other friends then, because I 
I was very angry when my friends didn't play the game. I said, I said that I wanted to play ice and water, but they said no. We want to play cricket, and I went to my other friend and I said, let's play ice and water, and they played it. I think that's an excellent way to deal with the situation, Nishpa. Yeah. Yeah. Let's ignore them. Okay, and clearly, when they would like to play, then you can go back to them yeah. whenever they want to play. Uh, ice and water. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Great. So now let's talk about some rules that you would be making for your house. Okay. okay. So imagine, Alishma, if you get a chance to make any three rules for your house, and let's suppose everybody in your house will have to follow. Okay. In that case, what are your three rules going to be? The first rule is going to be. Password to enter my room. Okay. Second is gonna be my parents will get me a pet cat. Okay. And the third is gonna be they will get me pizza and donuts every single day. Every single day. Yeah. Wow. Are you sure that's something that might happen? Yes. Okay. Wow. Clearly, your parents adore you and love you a lot. I can see that. My parents love me a lot. I am their princess. You're their princess. How wonderful, Alishba. Yeah. That's so beautiful. And talking about your first two rules, so you need to have a password for anybody who enters your room. Why is that? Because I don't want anybody to come inside without the password. Like, why can't do they come without the password? Now I will put it. So you basically want them to knock on your door and ask for your permission. Yes. Yes. Okay. Alright. Uh, so they don't do that. So that's why I'm gonna put the password. No entry without password. Okay. Okay. But if you tell them one password, they are going to know that password, right? No. I'm not gonna tell it. Oh, so that password is going to be a secret. Yes. Okay. Should I tell you the password? Yes, if you want. Okay. I am a princess. <laughs> oh. Wow. Yes. Well, I think your parents might guess bits and pieces of that password. They might say, "My daughter is a princess." A hint. It starts with uh, the uh, P. Okay. I will just say that. It starts with P. Princess. Okay. All right. So princess is going to be your password, right? Okay. All right. I think that might not be too hard for your parents to guess, since they already know that you are their princess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think they will guess, but it's okay. I just don't want the other people to know. Okay, so your parents are allowed in your room. Yeah. Other people, well, they should knock before they enter. Uh, yes. Okay. Not even knock, just write the password. <laughs> okay, so they need to submit the password, write it down, and slip it in. Yes. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> All right, Alishba. Great. So, Alishba, let's move to your zodiac sign now. Okay. Are you familiar with what's your zodiac sign? Yes. What is it? It is Libra. Libra. Okay. And are you familiar with the traits of Libra? What are the qualities yes. of the zodiac? Social, fair-minded, and gracious. Wow. All right. You clearly know a lot about your zodiac sign. Yes. So tell me this, Alishba. Are these traits true for you? Are you a social person? Are you fair-minded? Or are you gracious? Yes. Okay, clearly. Can you give us an example? How do they stand true for you? Why do you believe you are a strong Libra? Because I, I am very talkative. I'm very gracious. I'm very social. Okay. All right. Wonderful. And well, I think we all can clearly see that you love to talk. You are quite social and clearly a lot confident. <laughs> All right, Alishma. Wonderful. So I see you are a strong Libra right here. Yes. Great. 
all right so now moving on to the end of our interview i have a few questions as we move towards the end the first one is going to be about food okay since you clearly love cooking love making waffles love eating donuts right and pizza so tell me this if you are stranded on an island where you can only eat one thing for one entire week so which food item would you take with you this is a very interesting question just one food item for one week dal makhani and butter naan dal makhani and butter naan you won't be taking your pizzas and donuts there no oh okay <laughs> all right so okay so clearly if i ask you to choose between pizza and donuts and dal makhani and butter naan what would you pick dal makhani and butter naan because it's healthy also and i eat like Four or five butter naan with dal makhani. Four or five butter naans. Wow. Okay, so clearly it's something extremely tasty. Yeah. Yes, and yes, I would agree with you there. That it's an extremely delicious meal. All right, so dal makhani and butter naan it is for one entire week. <laughs> All right. Now, Alushma, let's talk about the COVID year of twenty twenty. You know, when the pandemic actually hit us. Now we all went under lockdown. schools moved online yes. yes and it wasn't a very good situation yeah. yeah but i still think that there would be any one memory that we all have that would have been a favorite from that year yes i have okay so can you tell us about your favorite memory from the covid year of 2020 i learned how to ride my bicycle without support Okay, that's quite an achievement. Yes. Excellent, excellent, wonderful. I think that's a big achievement. Whenever we learn to ride any any vehicle, be it a cycle, you know, a scooter or even a car, it's always a big thing. So well done. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. All right, Alishpa. So now I'm coming to the last question of your interview today. Okay. So tell me this. Um, Is there anything that you can do today that you couldn't do last year? Yes. Okay. What is that? That is that I'm going to Dubai. Okay. So are you saying that you can go to Dubai this year, but you could not last year? Yes. And is the pandemic to blame? And what what is the reason you couldn't go last year? Yes. 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 Oh, it's because of the pandemic. Pandemic. Yeah, I think clearly a lot of people uh, might have that issue. Yeah, we all have the same complaint. We could not travel, but hopefully, situation is looking better now. So, when are you planning your this trip to Dubai? In December. In December. Okay. Well, I yeah. wish you have a fun time there. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Yeah, Excellent. Well. Now, before we part, Alishpa, I would like to ask you: Do you have any message that you would want to give to your parents? Anything you would love to say to them through this interview? I love them. I think that's such a sweet and short message, and clearly covers everything that you have, because you will, you are their own princess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent, Alishpa. Well, I had a wonderful interview with you today, and I love your confidence. And I'm glad that you are so talented. We have the proof right behind you. Yeah. So keep up what you do. Two more pieces. Yes. Two more pieces. Yeah. Would you like to show them to us? Yes. Okay. Get this one. Wow. So clearly, this is very beautiful. What type of colors did you use for this? Oil pastels. Oil pastels. Okay, I think this is excellent piece. One more, I have. Okay, I see you have come prepared. Okay, so tell me if I'm wrong. Is this Elsa from Frozen? Yes. Wow. This is beautiful. And tell me about. Uh, what what is this? Uh, you know the design that you have on the side. It oh, that like... is lady finger. Oh, okay. So this is clearly another kind of art and craft. Yes. Wow. I use lady finger to do that. 
Flakes, that, wonderful. That is snowflakes. Snowflakes. Wow. I think that's an excellent idea, Lishpa. I love your creativity right here. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank Great. Thank you so much for showing us those. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I had such a good time in this interview. I hope you enjoyed your interview. Yes, ma'am. Excellent. Thank you so much, Alishpa. More power to you and take care. Bye-bye for now. My pleasure. <laughs> Bye from a doll to everyone. Bye. Bye. Yay!